what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the Hey, what's up guys? We're in a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we got a special guest Rich Brown, how are you? I'm all good Say the whole thing, or are you cool with just Rich? No, oh, Mr. Rich Bound. Mr. You gotta like. say yeah. Mr. Yeah, you gotta say the Mr. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna play a little game to get you warmed up. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. All right, let's get it. What's your sign? Aquarius. What's your favorite color? Red. What's the worst food? Fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight on the island, you need three things. What three things do you need? What three things I need on the island? I need some weed. I need some beets. Okay. And I don't need nothing else. So that's all I need. Thing. But I have three. Uh, just give me some pussy. Fuck it. Okay, wow. Um, last thing you spent money on? <laughs> the last thing I spent money on? A yeah. Maserati truck. Okay. One artist you want to collab with? Future. Okay. Favorite power couple? Do you have even, a favorite? I don't got none. <laughs> like a couple oh. that you like, a couple that's like, oh, they doing anything? I don't even know who. Oh, okay. Who couples. Okay. I don't pay okay. no attention. Favorite meal to cook? I don't do no cooking, but I like Monster Choli, though. That's my favorite thing my mama cooked for me. Monster Choli. Okay. One sentence for your ex? One sentence for who? Your ex. Oh we. I'm a you know what you know what? I pray for you. I pray for you. <laughs> okay. If you had to break a world record, what world record do you think you could break? Which one do I wanna break or which one could I break? You think you could break, yeah. Uh world record. I probably can break the real record for who spend the money, the most money, the fastest. Okay. Yeah. What that what, what that record is? Somebody look that up. I don't know. I'll pop it up. Somebody look that up, Joe. <laughs> okay. Um. Biggest pet peeve. I hate people that talk too much. Okay. And three traits every girl should have. Three traits every girl should have. Yeah. They they should have the ability to be molded. They should be a great listener mm-hmm. and a nurturer. Okay. That's cool. All right. So, Mr. Rich Brown, tell us how you got your artist name. What your name? Well, I got my name from the company that I co created with my brother, Rich Brown Entertainment. Okay. You know, since I'm the head, since I'm the CEO, I call myself Mr. Rich Brown. Okay. Put some emphasis on it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you're Mr. Rich Brown. Yeah. Okay, so um, so you and your brother started a company. So when did y'all get started? Uh, twenty nineteen. Okay, okay, so a couple of years now. Yeah. How's it been going? Uh, so far so good. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. So tell us a little bit about the company. Y'all goals? Who's with on the company? Well, we started Rich Band Entertainment twenty nineteen. Like I said, we got the record label Rich mm-hmm. Band Records. Okay. We got the clothing label Rich Band Clothing. I mean, we're curating a magazine right now. That's nice. So we so we getting the wristbound models on deck, you know what I'm saying? So we can put them in a the magazine and get busy one time. So we got a lot going on under the under the umbrella. So where did the name inspire from? Like wristbound? Like where did, what made you pick that name? Wristbound. Actually because my old G had moved to this block in Chicago called Richmond. So that's what we kinda got it off of. We stole it off of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, and got creative with it. Yeah. Okay, so on the label, do you have artists yet? Yeah, we got a couple artists that one I'm about to sign when we get back. I don't even want to announce it yet though, but it's gonna be dope though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He from Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so y'all be traveling. Y'all be getting artists from. Everywhere. Oh yeah, it's going up. It's going up for sure. Okay, so this is your first time in New York. Yes, actually, yeah, it's my first time. Okay, here. you gotta turn up in New York. On <laughs> what? It's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to New York though? We came here to participate in the Day Summit. Okay. So you know, the Day Summit is like a South by Southwest of New York. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of different yeah. venues where a lot of different performances going on. Yeah. A lot of label representatives on location. A lot of networking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Day Summit been going on for a couple of years now. So yeah. A lot of people come up to do that. Okay. So, 
in the label, been about three years now. How many artists would you say you ha- y'all have? Like, well, including ourselves, because I'm an artist myself yeah, too. Yeah. So including myself and my brother. Oh, it's okay. two other ones that I don't want to announce their name yet. Yeah. That's confirming. Okay. All right. So get into your music though. How'd you get into music? Man, I actually been writing forever, basically since I was a little boy. But I actually been taking it serious though, like since we put the imprint together, me and my brother. Like I've been taking it more serious now than I ever was before. Okay. And why now? Why you feeling it now? Because I actually I just did a real long stint in a joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did eleven years straight. Mm-hmm. And I came to the crib this time like with a different mind frame. Like one, first and foremost, I ain't going back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's so, good. Yeah, I got to do something different, you feel me? I don't need to do nothing different. I got to do something different, you feel me? So I said, I'm going to come out here and do what we always been doing for leisure anyway. We already been writing songs, doing music for leisure. Let's make it make sense, make some money out of it, you know what I'm saying? When you was locked up, you was writing still? Yeah, I was writing so much when I was locked up. Okay. Like, that was my therapy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And the crazy thing is that I haven't recorded not one song that I wrote in prison yet. Crazy. Not one. So why? What happened? You get in the studio and then what happens? I don't know. So it would just be like, because I wrote all them songs in prison mm-hmm. with just beats in my head. You know what I'm saying? So you can't find the beats to match those songs? I mean, I can though, but it's like, I don't even do it though. But uh, you know what I'm saying? But like now I listen to beats and I let the beat talk to me like, mm-hmm. what should I put on this beat? Okay. Now, you know what I'm saying? So if I go into the studio thinking that initially, like, man, I'm going to take these songs in there, then go and find some beats that match it. Yeah. Then that'll be that'll probably happen. Okay. But when I just go in there and listen to the beats, I'm listening to the beats. Like, what the beat telling me to say? You know what I'm saying? Right. I think you should record at least one that you wrote in there. I agree. I think I should record <laughs> them all. You know what I'm saying? All right. So how many songs would you say you think you wrote in there? At least 200. Okay. And that's just being yeah, like nice. That, yeah, that's yeah. just being nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's just being super nice. Okay, so what's, what, was, what gets you in the mode to right now? Outside, everything's open. Do you right now or are you freestyling? No. Well, I don't like when people really use that word freestyling, though, because people ain't really freestyling nowadays. Like a freestyle is when you turn the beat on right now, and then I just go off my head like I never said these words before. This is the first time I ever spoke these words. After I get done rapping them, I'm not going to remember them. That's a freestyle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when people steady be dropping clips, talking about freestyling, but they actually wrote the song and they actually recorded it, that's not okay. no freestyle, right? So what I do now is I listen to beats mm-hmm. and I write the lyrics in my head. Okay. So I don't even use paper okay. because I feel like the paper is restricting. Okay, if you're not using paper, I consider that freestyling. That's not, though. If you're not using paper, your notes are nothing because you got to remember it, though. It's not freestyling, though. So you remember in your head? Freestyling is when you rap the lyrics and you don't remember them. Okay. Like right now, you just put the beat on now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We at the talk of the town when I get to, just get to saying stuff. Okay. That's freestyling. And then when I get done, I can't even recite that to you no more. But if I can recite the rap to you again, that ain't no freestyle. Bro. <laughs> ain't nothing about it, no freestyle. Let us know in the comments what y'all think. Yeah, y'all, y'all, <laughs> yeah, jump in the comments one time. I don't know how bro. I feel about that. <laughs> okay, so get into music. Also, uh, walk us through your first studio session. Was you making music before you got locked up? or? Yeah. Okay, so how was those sessions, those studio sessions? My first studio sessions? Yeah, welcome to your first studio session ever. My first studio session ever. Mm-hmm. I was actually in the studio with my favorite producer still to this day. Really? Yeah. Okay. My homie CK. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite producer, Joe. His beat's just so off the chain. He, he, he cold, you feel me? And he was only like 14 or maybe 15 okay. the first time I went in the studio with him. You? I was probably like 20. Okay. Yeah, I was probably like, 14. yeah, I was probably A lot like of 20. producers in New York are young, too. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was like 14 to 15, so, and I was like, man, he cold. Uh-huh. Like, he was just cold back then, like, with the uh-huh. samplings and everything, but now he just, with the originals and everything, he just off the chain all the way around the board. So back then, was it, like, drill music lit back then, or, like, what no. kind of music? It was, like, trap music? Like, what was it? Yeah, 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 it was more trap music. It was around Jeezy time. Okay, you know okay. What I'm saying? okay. Like, 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 around that area. Like, I don't do drill music, even though I'm from Chicago. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do drill at all. Okay. Do you yeah. not like it, or you just not your thing? No, it's just that. That ain't that ain't my thing. That just ain't my thing. It ain't that I don't like it. I can hear it sometimes. If it's a good song, I, you know what I'm saying? 
I fuck with it for sure. But I ain't never getting in the studio doing no drill song. Okay. So what do you feel like is your sound? Like what's your vibe to me? My vibe is I'm real smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like you, if you was from Chicago, you would know what I mean when I say, <clears throat> excuse me, I make Lake Shore Drive music. Lake Shore Drive. Yeah, you can just put it on and slide, ride, glide. They're like car music. Yeah, like Lake Shore Drive in Chicago. It's a long, nice little E-way script where you can just ride. You see the lake right there. You know what I'm saying? You see the skyline. It's, you, you see the, you okay. know what I mean? So maybe that would be like peer music for us. Got the fear. Yeah, and something like that. Yeah, fear okay. me. Yeah, I ain't under the drill act though. So. <laughs> okay. All right. So walk us through your latest single. I remember. Is that the latest one? That's the latest one. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. So what inspired I remember? I remember is is basically a tale of the past. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I went in there and did some real recollecting when I when I brought that to the people, you know what I'm saying? I was recollecting and I remember, and it's so deep for me, and it really touched me, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I recorded, I remember that was the first time I ever went in the studio. Like, my little brother, the one, brought me that beat. Shout out to Picasso Swag, Joe. Swag brought me that beat, right? And he was like, man, bro, I just hear you on this. I'm like, all right, Joe, let me hear that joint, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> when I heard it and I went in the studio, I recorded the chorus, like, immediately, like, soon as the verse came, I mean, soon as the, soon as the beat came on. And I was about to exit the booth. And bro was like, Joe, just just, just stay in there. Don't Just stay okay. in there. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in the booth mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end of the song, mm -hmm. just punching in, punching okay. in until I was done. I ain't come out. Okay. And that's the first time I ever did that before. So do you like that process? I love it, Joe. Okay, I so probably won't do it too many times. You know what I'm saying? That was a lot of pressure, you feel me? Okay. <laughs> but I love it, though. You know what I'm saying? I love how it came out. You know what I mean? I love what it got up out of me. You know what I mean? I, I so how do you push yourself creatively? Because like you said, your friend pushed you to do that. So like, how else are you pushing yourself creatively? I really just push myself all the time. Like, mm -hmm. I got a song called Feeling Me. I know that's a little off the subject as far as the single is concerned, right? Yeah. But I got a song called Feeling Me where I say, I know you feeling me because I'm feeling me. And I'm hard on myself than you could ever be. Like, so that's my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm always pushing myself. So... It's just about me deciding that I want to write a song. Like, I don't even got to push myself to do it. I just need to say, hey, Joe, it's time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Do that right now. Do that today. Or do that tomorrow. I'll do that tonight. Okay. And I just, I do it. So, like, do you push yourself to do different sounds? Because, like you say, you do, like, short drive music. So. Yeah. Are you trying to do, like, I don't know, maybe club records, pop records? Different Look, this, songs? my newest song is actually a little more faster. But I still consider it Lake Shore Drive, though, because it's still... Smooth, you know what I'm saying? Even though okay. the beat is a little more up tempo, you know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah, I can do I can do different sounds for sure. Do you like want to do different sounds or you kinda like your lane right now? No, I love my lane because I want to make sure that I'm carving. You know what I mean? Like okay. I want to make sure everybody know my niche. You know what okay. I mean? So when they see me or when they hear my name, they already know what they got coming. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if he, someone wanted to add you, I guess, to a playlist, what other artists do you feel like would be in that playlist? Of the Lakeshore Drive type of music. Oh, we. Remember, I've never been there, so I'm just imagining it. Right. So, who's in that playlist with you and who else? Oh, man. You got to put some kid Cuddy in there. He be going crazy under the smooth okay. act. Okay. You feel me? Who else you would put in there under the playlist? Kendrick Lamar, he rap a little more faster though, but I definitely, you definitely got to put me on that playlist with him. You feel okay. me? Uh, I'm a future dude though, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm off the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm a future dude. So he, he futuristic for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People don't even realize what they be listening to. So, but yeah, slap me on that joint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. All right, so a little K Cuddy, Kendrick, Future. That's a Lakeshore Drive playlist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I just want to go crazy. All right, cool. So, um, so you did a mini movie also. Yeah, for the video, the for the video, to I remember, was okay. like ten minutes long. Yeah, so you was pushing your acting skills. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, that was nice right there. That was dope. <laughs> it took me three months to film that video, yo. Wow, so you was consistent with that. Yeah, it took did you me write three the months. Script? I wrote everything. Oh, for real? I wrote it all, yo. Okay. Yeah. You ever thought about like pitching it? You know how like some people like pitch their movie. Yeah, I have thought about that, but I don't. I don't feel like 
I ain't ready yet. Okay. Okay. So that yeah. was the first one? You yeah. do another one? Yeah, I'm going to do another one. Like, everything I drop going to be movies. Mm -hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm putting that type of pressure on myself where I feel like since I dropped that, I can't go back to the norm. Like, ain't no more normal. Mm -hmm. It got to be like a flick every time. Okay. Okay, so are you going to do the same thing with albums, too? Because remember how Tory Lane's like, whole album be like a skit, too, but songs in the mix? I ain't never heard this album before, but <laughs> yeah, I ain't never, yeah, I ain't never heard this album. <laughs> but now nah, he does like these, just like it be skits in between songs, but it all connects to a movie. Oh yeah, kind of like a musical, but just on album. Oh yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, but um, but yeah, do you so you say you want to do more movies? Yeah. So do you plan on doing an album soon this year, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them with a few more singles first. Okay. Then I'm gonna drop them. I'm gonna drop the album on them. The album gonna be called "On oh My Soul" OMS. So you got a name already? Yeah, it's so already, you ready? <laughs> yeah, it's already on deck. I'm gonna okay. drop like two more singles. I got two more, maybe three. I'm deciding whether it's gonna be a third one or not. Yeah. But then I'm gonna drop the album after I drop them singles. How do you know which single is the single to drop? Because I pre already selected. Okay, so you go based on your opinion. Like you don't let other people like, oh, I like that one. Or... Yeah. No. No. Okay. I'm just listening to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so do you, do you have any regrets in doing that, or you feel like everything? Well, just listening to me about the singles dropping? Yeah. No, I don't got no regrets in that. Okay. No, even if somebody opposed it or not, like, I don't got no regrets in it because I feel like this is what I want to do, so. And I'm my own boss, though, so I can do whatever I want to do. No, sure. You know what I'm saying? So even if somebody else say something else, I'm like, no, this is what, this, this what I decided so already, though. just want, you know, feedback, opinions and stuff. Yeah, I don't want none when it comes <laughs> Come to that, like okay. you know what I'm saying, drop my music. I don't even want to know. I want to hear. Okay, so do you feel like you're open to criticism or no? Yeah, you can criticize my music. You can criticize it all you want. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If you tell me something that you hear or something that I might should do different, I mean, I'm, I'm all good with that. Okay. But you ain't gonna tell me like when I should drop it or what I should drop or none of that. Okay, so yeah, so you wouldn't go to like a major label or something. I don't want to stay independent. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that though. <laughs> Cause I'm just trying to see. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that though. Cause I'm real. I'm real. Uh, what's the word I want? I'm, I'm real disrespectful. Like as respectful as I am, I'm real disrespectful too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I don't like to be played with none. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I get real mean if somebody play with me. Mm -hmm. So being in them type of situations with a label, I've been and went to the boardroom and smacked everybody on the label. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that got okay. something to do with anything, I've been and smacked everybody. Okay. So I don't even want to participate in so that. So on the independent tip, since you anti-label. Yeah. On the independent tip, I guess, like, what apps or resources are you using to kind of, like, get your music out there? Some people use United Masters, Distro Kid. Like, yeah, I got Distro Kid and United Masters. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's other things, too, though. We pitching, doing other things, you know what I mean? Trying to get on video games, TV okay. shows, United movies. Masters helps with that, too. Yeah, United Masters off the chain with that. Facts. So what's your plans for the rest of the year? This year, you got the day summit. Did you perform already or not yet? I supposed to perform tonight, tonight. tomorrow, oh. and the nineteenth. Oh, three days. Yeah. So back to back. Okay. So what else do you plan to do in New York? Day summit in New York. We are gonna go do some shopping. <laughs> Hopefully, we are gonna hit the studio though, because I know artists are too out here. You know what I mean, that I'll be chopping it oh, up do with. You listen to New York artists. Like, who you be talking to out here? Yeah, I know some uh, guys on Instagram. I'll be chopping it up with. Yeah, this, this uh, brother named Mike Mike uh, Ruiz. Okay. He a Latina artist. He oh. cold though. He be spitting. He be going um, crazy. Marlon, any okay. any make his uh, oh, uh, I think he's from Queens. Okay. I think he's from Queens. He make his own beats though. Yeah, he make his own beats. Oh, so he too. Yeah, he be going crazy. So. Okay. Anybody else? So hopefully I lock, lock in with him before I leave. So. Okay. You listen to any other New York artists? Or? Uh, you talking about major artists or independent artists? I don't really, really? Know, I don't really know no lot of uh, independent artists in New York like that. All right, major artists. Well, as far as the major do, oh yeah, I mess with Jay. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z, Jay the Kiss. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Locks, they used to be my boys. You feel okay. me? But my favorite artist of all time is from here. Who is that? DMX. Oh. DMX is my number one artist of all time. So. Okay, and why is that? You want to? He was just so raw and so true to me. Like I always loved his realness. Okay. It was just always different to me than everybody else. And he used to have me barking like two, three in the morning, walking down the street. <laughs> you know what 
waking people up, Joe. So, you know, I fuck with X, Joe. Rest in peace to X, Joe. Okay. Does he inspire your music anywhere? Or? I wouldn't even say that, like, because I don't really take no inspiration from a lot of people. You know okay. what I'm saying? As far as the music is concerned, I just I always love this music. So when I hear it today, I remember how I felt back in 98 and 99 when I was listening to them X songs. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you want, you try to make your music take you back to those feelings, I guess? Yeah. Okay. I'm the type when I spit, like, I want you to feel me. Okay. I want you to feel me. I want you to hear me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't never rapping too fast. To what people are like, what do you say? No, you can hear every single <laughs> word I say in every single song. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how I'm sliding. So, how are you balancing, like, being a CEO and also being an artist? It's kind of hard, Joe. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's, a lot of people say that. Yeah, it's super hard, Joe, because. A lot of times I don't be knowing when to turn it off, like the difference. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because wearing the two different hats is like two different characters for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I even use a real life example. I just had an example today okay. where I acted like an artist instead of a boss. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I actually had to go back up to the girl before I just left the place we left and apologize to her. Like, I apologize for my energy earlier. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that ain't my norm. I apologize about that. But... I acted like an artist though, when okay. I was when I was talking to her. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, instead of acting like a CEO, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like when I sat back and thought about it, like yeah, so that ain't how you that ain't how you supposed to come, Joe. Like that's what made me slide back on it and apologize to her. You know what oh, saying? Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I guess so. You travel a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I know y'all met artists in Milwaukee, who New York now. Yeah. So, is there any place that you want to travel that you haven't yet? Uh. Overseas, I want to go overseas. Uh, I got okay. a passport, but I don't got no stamps on there. Okay, so you got to get some stamps. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying. I got to stamp that. Go to like, wait, UK, London, or something. Yeah, I want to go to Italy. We want to go to Italy, right? My photographer said we got to go to Italy first. So. Okay. So we're gonna slide to Italy. So. Okay. All right, that's cool. So I guess tell the people what's next, what's coming 2023. This camera right here, 2023 Rich Bound Entertainment. We got the On My Soul dropping out the fruit, couple more singles. Mm -hmm. Hey, the single, hey, I forgot to tell you though, one of my singles is called Only Fans, right? Okay. And I'm gonna make two videos for that joint. One of them gonna be regular daggler, or we can just upload that on Distro Kids, United <laughs> Masters, all that. The other one, they gonna have to subscribe to my Only Fans to see it. Okay. Him gonna be Triple X. Okay. Do you feel like you want to do that as an artist? I do though. Okay. I do want to do that as an artist. Why you think I shouldn't? Um, just I feel like we shouldn't be double standard. Y'all be talking about girls doing OnlyFans, you know? I don't be talking about girls doing OnlyFans. People, society in general. See, that's the difference between them and me, <laughs> because my song, the OnlyFans, I'm up in the women that got OnlyFans. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be like I'm only praising fans them anthem. and telling them that they the shit. Okay, so it's gonna be like an OnlyFans. It's fans gonna be anthem. a real anthem. Every female that got OnlyFans gonna love this joint. Okay. Gonna when love that's it. coming out? That's gonna. Right I before might. Before the summer. Before the summer. Before the summer. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna drop one single next, then that one. Okay. It's gonna go up, so. Okay. So, so y'all can follow me at Richbound underscore E N T. That's R I C H B O U N D underscore E N T. On the gram. On YouTube, y'all can go subscribe. Same thing. 